Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to estimate the sum and difference of 5 to 6 digit numbers by rounding the given numbers to the nearest large place value of the numbers. Let's have a review on rounding off numbers. Let's round this number to the nearest 100,000. The 100,000th place digit is 2. The right digit of 2 is 3. 3 means round down. So we will retain 2. And change all the remaining digits into zeros. So 231,567 Round it down to 200,000. Let's review the addition sentence. These two numbers that you are adding are what you call the addends. And the answer in the addition sentence is what you call the sum. Now, let's estimate the sum of 5 to 6 digit numbers by rounding the addends to the nearest large place value of the number. Let's know first what is the meaning of estimate. Estimate means to make a smart guess about the amount of number of something when you don't need to know the exact number. It's like rounding a number up or down to make it easier to add, subtract, or compare. Let's have the story problem. Mr. Cruz wants to renovate his house. He estimates that the cost of materials for the living room will be 32,485 pesos and the cost for the kitchen will be 16,790 pesos. About how much will Mr. Cruz spend in total? Let's focus to the two given numbers. To estimate the sum, we will round off each addend to the highest place value. So 3 and 1 are the two digits with the highest place value in each number. Let us round off first the first number. The right digit of 3 is 2. And 2 belongs to round down. So we will retain 3 and change all the digits into zeros. Now let's round off the second number. Since 6 is the right number from 1, 6 belongs to round up. So, we will round up 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And change all the digits into zeros. So, 30,000 plus 20,000 is 50,000. So, Mr. Cruz spent 50,000 in total. Let's have another story problem. A school ordered 59,378 pencils and 45,624 notebooks for the upcoming school year. About how many supplies did the school order in total? We have these two numbers. Let's round them off. First, the right digit from 5 is 9 and 9 is round up. So, we will add 1 to 5. And we will change all these digits into zeros. 60,000. And the right digit from 4 is 5. 5 is round up. We will add 1 to 4. And 4 will become 5. And change all the digits into zeros. So 50,000. 60,000 plus 50,000 is 110,000. So, the school ordered for a total of 110,000 of school supplies. Let's have another story problem. A company donated 125,480 pesos for building a new library and 70,960 pesos for buying books. About how much money did the company donate in total? Let's have these two numbers. Digit 2 is the right digit from 1, and 2 is round down, so we will retain 1 and change all the digits into zeros. 0 is the digit from the right of 7, and 0 is round down, 
so we will retain 7 and change all the remaining digits into zeros. The estimated sum is 170,000 pesos. Let's try! Estimate the sum. The first added is 10,000. Second added is 20,000. So the sum is 30,000. Another one. First added is 50,000. Second number will be 50,000. So the estimated sum is 100,000. First number is 300,000. Second number will be 10,000. So, the estimated sum is 300,000. Now, let's learn how to estimate the difference. Now, let's learn the words from our subtraction sentence. The first number is the minuend. The minuend has the larger number. The second number is the subtrahend. It is the smaller number. And the answer is what you called the difference. Let's have a story problem. A bookstore had 73,845 books in stock. After a big sale, 28,430 books were sold. About how many books are left in the bookstore? Let's have these two given numbers. Just like finding the sum, we will round off the minuend and subtrahend to the highest place value. So 3 is the right digit from 7, 3 is round down, so we will retain 7, and this number will be 70,000. 8 is the nearest number from 2, 8 is round up, so we will add 1 to 2, and 2 will become 3. So this will become 30,000. Let's subtract the estimated numbers. So, the estimated difference is 40,000. Another story problem. A farmer harvested 85,672 apples this season. Last season, he harvested 41,358 apples. About how many more apples did he harvest this season compared to the last season? Let's have these two numbers. Let's round off the minuend and subtrahend to the highest place value. 5 is the digit from the right of 8. So 5 is round up. We will add 1 to 8. And this will become 90,000. 1 is the digit from the right of 4. 1 is round down. So we will retain 4. And this will become 40,000. 90,000 minus 40,000 is 50,000. Let's try. Let's estimate the difference. The first number will become 90,000. Second number is 20,000. And the estimated difference is 70,000. The first number will become 800,000. Second number, 50,000. And the answer is 750,000. First number is 60,000. Second number, 30,000. And the answer is 30,000. Activity time! Activity number 1. Estimate the sum.
Let's answer. The estimated sum is 60,000, 100,000, 150,000, 120,000, and 250,000. Activity number 2. Estimate the difference. Let's answer. The estimated differences are 40,000, 50,000, 50,000, 130,000, and 70,000. Always remember, when estimating sums and differences, first, round each number to its highest place value to simplify the calculation. For sums, Add the rounded numbers to get an approximate total. And for differences, subtract the rounded numbers to find an estimated result. Ensure that the rounded values are appropriate for the context and that the estimation makes sense. Consistent rounding and contextual considerations help achieve practical and accurate approximations. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!